In this tutorial, we're going to be using the loose painting technique, which essentially means we're not painting every detail in the bumblebee, and we're also going to be letting the water sort of do its thing. We're going to be using the dry brush technique for the wings as well. You can find all the colors and materials in the link below. So let's get started. We're going to start by dropping some cadmium yellow, just in the general area of where the yellow stripes are going to be. This is using the wet on dry technique. I'm dropping in the lunar earth now and I'm just going to let the pigment spread into the cadmium yellow. You want to make sure you're loading your brush with a lot of water because we want to make sure that the pigment spreads into each other. Now we're going to start dropping in the black stripes of the bumblebee, which is Payne's Grey. And here as well, we're just going to be painting sort of the general shape and we're going to be using a lot of water on our brush. I'm also purposely leaving some white spaces between the black and the yellow, just for some visual interest. Switching over to my rigger brush, I am just dragging the pigment down, just to create the sort of general shape of the legs. We're also going to be using the rigger brush to drag out the pigment, just to create the tiny little hairs. I'm using the same technique with the rigger brush on the face as well. Just to create the pinchers, we're just going to drag the pigment down from the face. I'm also dropping in some lunar earth just to add some more color and detail to the face. I'm dropping in some more cadmium yellow on the yellow stripes, just to soften them up. I'm using the dry brush technique for the wings. I've loaded up a little bit of Payne's Grey onto the brush, which is pretty much dry to damp. And we're just going to drag up the pigment, making sure to leave some of the paper showing through. I'm dropping in another layer of the lunar earth. This is wet on wet. I just felt that the lunar earth got lost a little bit in the black and the yellow. I'm finishing off with the antenna. I've loaded up my brush with a bit of lunar earth and we're just going to drag out the Payne's Grey from the face with the lunar earth. And I'm also just dropping in some cadmium yellow just to further soften up the yellow stripes. This to me looks like a good place to stop. So all we have to do now is just let the pigments bleed into each other and dry. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and had just as much fun painting this bee as I did. Thank you for watching.